Okay, well now we're going to cover what a deck is. Um, it looks like DQ, but it's actually pronounced deck. So deck, also known as a double-ended queue, is an ordered collection of items similar to a queue, but it has two ends, a front and a rear, and the items remain positioned as you put them, but you can put them on the front or put them on the rear or remove them from the front or remove them from the rear. Uh, so basically these are the operations, add to rear, remove from rear, add to front, remove from front, and uh, so there's the notion of the rear and the front, and uh, so let's look at our abstract data type for this. So the abstract data type uh, defines a constructor called a, a deck. Uh, it has an add front method, an add rear method, which just take an item, remove front, which removes the item from the queue, and returns the item. So it's kind of like pop, but removes from the front, and remove rear, removes the item from the rear, and returns it to you. Is empty ask if the deck is empty, and size returns how many items are in the deck. Notice you can't index and get something in the middle of the deck. It's like a queue. It only uh, allows you to work on in terms of both ends. Uh, so here's some test operations. Uh, create a deck and then check if it's empty. Uh, the, uh, we're going to use a list to represent a deck inside of Python. And uh, so that would return true if it's empty. Add uh, the number four to the rear. So that goes in the deck add rear dog, so that goes onto the left side. So the left side of the list is going to be our rear. Add front, cat, that's going to append it to the end of the list, so that goes onto the right side. Uh, so the front is this side and the rear is this side, looking at a list. Add front true, uh, get the size, that returns four. Test if it's empty, returns false. Uh, add rear a float point, it adds it to the rear which is the left side. Remove rear is going to return 8.4. This is what we just added to the rear. Remove front is going to return uh, true. And that is the last thing we added to the front was true. So at, notice after you remove rear, it removes the 8.4 from the deck. And when you remove front, it removes true from the deck. Here's another implementation. You'll find this in the Python's library that's, uh, that we've linked to from the uh, playlist section, which has all the code for the, that we're using from the book. Uh, but you can also just copy and paste this and put it into a file and use it. Now in the book they have this nice thing that will step through using it. Uh, if you haven't used these, these are uh, built in the interactive book. So you can step through each step and uh, let me reduce this a little bit and you'll see that as you step through it shows you uh, what the deck's pointing uh, so it's giving you here's the class for the deck and as you go forward and so it's stepping into the deck and here we're going to add to rear and it, you see it ha happening here, and once it happens, you'll see it's added four to the list. So you can step through this, there's 45 steps, so that's kind of interesting to do. Uh, let's go to the next part. Oh, and just a note that the front, because we're using a list, when you add its uh, uh, removing items from the front is O of 1, what adding and uh, removing from the rear, since it's at the beginning of the list, is O of N. So we're going to use this and make a palindrome checker. So a palindrome is a string that reads the same forward or backward, like radar or toot. So if you read it forward or backwards, it's still radar. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is we add uh, the word to a deck, so it ends up, and then we're going to pull from the rear and from the front, and they should match until the deck is empty or there's only one character left. So if there's one character left or the deck is empty and we haven't found any mismatches, we have a palindrome. So the code's pretty simple. Uh, a palindrome tracker, you pass a, a, a string, you create a new queue called the, the care queue. If, the, if there's a care in string, you uh, add it to the rear. So this is going to loop through all the characters in the string and add them all to the deck. 
uh, there's a flag still equal so we're going to check that to stop the loop so while the uh, size of the deck is greater than or equal to one so as long as there's two or more and still equal is true we're going to remove the from the rear and the front front and rear check if they're not equal if they're not equal we set still equal to false which would cause the loop to end early uh, when the loop ends we just return the flag still equal and that's it uh, I've uh, put this into my code. I modified the test code a little bit to print out what it's checking. So I'll show you that running. So this uh, is all the same code except here uh, I print a string. Let me make this a little wider here. So uh, what I did is I just copied this call that we're doing to check if it's true or false and I put that into a string. So because it's got it's using double quotes I put it in a string using single quotes and then little arrow. So when you run this I'm using a program called uh, TextMate, which is very nice for running simple Python. You can see it says, well, this call returned false, and this call returned true. So radar is a palindrome. That's basically it. In the next video, we'll deal with list. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll see an icon in the lower right corner. You can do that with.